Proverbs 5, verse 15 says, drink water from your own cistern. Here's some straight talk about monogamy from one of the wisest men who ever lived, Solomon. Solomon said, drink water from your own cistern or well. Running water from your own well. Should your springs overflow in the streets, your streams of water in the public squares, let them be yours alone, never to be shared with strangers. May your fountain be blessed, and may your, you rejoice in the wife of your youth. A loving doe, a graceful deer, may her breast satisfy you always, and may you ever be intoxicated with her love. Why, my son, be intoxicated with another man's wife? Why embrace the bosom of a wayward woman? For your ways are in full view of the Lord, and he examines all your past. That's why. The evil deeds of the wicked ensnare them. The cords of their sin hold them fast. For lack of discipline, they will die, led astray by their own great folly. You know, in Solomon's day, a well or cistern was considered to be as valuable as gold. Clean water was a very precious commodity. And so what Solomon is saying is this, why drink the polluted water that comes from the sewer of promiscuity? When if you wait, you can drink from the clean water that comes from the well of a devoted spouse. So here are a couple of truths that you should always keep in mind. Number one, true love waits. Number two, true love is worth the wait. When tempted to go astray by a fast uh, living friend, a young Christian woman replied, Anytime uh, I want to become like you, I can, but I can never again become the person I was made to be before that decision. I'm Ray Jones. And that's another hard truth for your day.